So when we run the JSP, we see the sample web app is uh, and the index.jsp page is giving us uh, 225 currencies. All right, and uh, so next we are going to go back to Eclipse and uh, uh, go back to the slide and uh, we see here we need Azure Toolkit in as a Eclipse plugin. Okay, so let's go and to the marketplace and search for Azure Toolkit. All right, you can go and type in Azure and should be good. Let's search it. Azure Toolkit for Eclipse 3.25 at this point in recording. So Azure Toolkit for Eclipse provides functionality that allows you to easily create, develop and configure, test and deploy it lightweight and highly available and scalable Java web apps. All right. So well, there is something like Azure App Services that we will get access through this toolkit. All right. So once we have this installed, we can deploy our web app to Azure App Services. So we'll get access to it. Right? Azure App Services. We'll get access to Azure App Services. We'll show you in a bit. Go ahead and install it. All right. It will take a while. Until then, I'll I'll show you. Okay. Accept the license. Finish. Okay. It will it will install. And the next thing we need to do is. So I just logged on to portalazure.com and here is a URL. So here you can see here app services. This is what I was talking about. You can create, build, deploy and manage powerful web and mobile apps and including you can launch your API apps. So, so you can go ahead and build standards based web apps such as .NET apps, Java based, .node.js, PHP and Python. All right. So, so here, th this is what I'm talking about. So if we click it and here at this point of time, I have no apps to serve, no app services to display, right? So, so these kind of apps, again, we can have Python, PHP, Node.js, Java, .NET, um, web apps, right? Standards based web apps. So using the, using these technologies can be deployed here, right? This is a scalable platform and secure. So it will be much more faster here. So we, if we are directly, when we are directly in the portal, we can go here and uh, add add we can give subscription name a resource group and if it is not there we have to create a new resource group something like web app. and then a web app name publish code or docker code are you publishing directly the code or a docker container code all right that uh, that way right web app are you putting or in the, are you deploying web app code web app code directly or docker container through a docker container so select runtime. We can we need to here select here runtime Java dot net. You can see here node. So dot net ASP dot net dot net core node PHP Python and Ruby. So we need to select that and we have to select the region or we have to select operating system Linux or Windows and Linux plan. We need to select if we choose Linux here. Yeah, we do mostly select East US and select a resource group before selecting the plan, right? So we need to select a resource group here. All right, and here we get uh, the the east us okay linux plan our uh, runtime stack is 
Java 8 in this case. All right. So Linux plan. A app service plan, we need to select as per service plan, pricing tier, determines allocation, features, cost, and computing resources already with your app, right? And yeah, and uh, we, yeah, that's how we can create here. We have monitoring, we have to give monitoring for the app service. All right, I think it's taking time. I'll pause it for a while. So the difference is we are not going to create a web app directly, but we are going to deploy a web app uh, from Eclipse. That is sample web app. Over right, here, we need to restart of Eclipse to apply the software update, restart now. So it says Azure HD Insight for Eclipse. To enable the HD Insight feature, please please uh, click OK to install a scale up plugin. So OK, say OK, go ahead. Click OK. I think it will install or not sure if it is installed already but then I think it will do its job so meanwhile what we can do is we can go to servers and you can see here sample web app you can go to Azure sign in all right so uh, what are let, let me go back to Azure portal here Okay, this I'll close. I think something is wrong here at Azure. Close it. So here I am logged in with ashraf.hm at gmail.com, right? So you need to sign in. So there are two ways to do it. Device login, authentication methods, right? And the service principle. So you can do either way. Uh, I will try with device login. So we need to open device login and enter this code. Okay, copy and open. Okay, next. All right, ashraf.hm, yeah, use that. Azure toolkits for IntelliJ IDEA and Eclipse. You have signed in to the Azure toolkits for IntelliJ IDEA and Eclipse application on your device. So on your device means my Eclipse here. So reading subscriptions is going on here. So you, so that sign in is done. So from the device this device is eclipse so it's reading the subscriptions right now so so whatever the subscriptions are there i will go home and uh, go to subscriptions i have azure pass 
sponsorship right now it is disabled but then let's see what it says okay i have both of them select subscription you want to use azure pro sponsorship let's see uh it's disabled right now so in that case not sure how it's getting to do 303 subscription 303 my role all of the roles i'm playing and uh, status of those roles or all all of this active disabled past you and all so what we can do is we can use these two subscriptions and see uh, you can refresh but we need not need it it's not needed go and choose select okay all right and uh, all right so now it knows that we are connected to azure so but then how do we publish it right so if you go back and see here the app services we are not there yet so if we go here on this sample web app azure published web app for containers i believe this is the one so we have uh, again we have docker support docker run we have docker way we have push image publish as azure web app i think this is the one go ahead and click it as i'm doing it first time so but it's interesting reading the subscription I have chosen two subscriptions. Let us see which subscription it chooses. Should choose only one, right? Not both. All right, it is taking some time. I may as well pause it or explore it here. Deploy web app. So I think it will list it since we have already chosen it. So you should know it. And uh, what else are here? App service details. Deploy to slot. I think we have to give some slot here. But we will keep an eye here. All right, I will pause it for a while. I'll come back. Refresh. Oh. Select app service to deploy to. Right. So name JDK Web Container Resource Group. It didn't match it. So what is this here? your service plan the same things which it was showing the interface here in the portal so it is showing you up here now we want linux runtime enter name and so on azure websites.net this is our sample web app so why it is doing like that i'm not sure maybe refresh no so we'll go back here and publish it again and see maybe that will work all 
voice in creator what about the existing app right Just uh, for a note, it's like uh, this Tomcat 9.0 here is the local environment, right? So the app service, so if we see the app services, so it will be how it will also create the runtime environments. So we have to match the runtime environments, which is created here, should be matched to our local environment. So let's go to sample web app right click on that publish as azure web app here here it's saying select app service to deploy to so if you see nothing is there here right so it is matching with exactly this it's, there is nothing here no app services yet app services are like holders or a runtime environments okay so create when you create here it will be created here all right so in the portal i mean so create uh well well we'll do one thing we'll create a subscription first since this is disabled so i want to add a new subscription So, so here I we, we need to choose free trial. So I'm not eligible for this offer. But pay as you go is open also as for students. So whichever applicable to you, go for it and create a subscription first. 